हेलो हाय अस्सलाम वालेकुम आदाब दोस्तों मैं हूं जूस एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डिजिटल हैंडल्स ऑफ रेडियो चिनार 90.4 एफएम और हर बार की तरह आज कुछ खास जी हां एक खास शख्सियत जुड़ी है हमारे साथ आपको इंस्पायर करने के लिए टू डू मोर टू लिव मोर आइए मिलकर वेलकम करते हैं पीरजादा मुनीर हमारे साथ यहां पर मुनीर साहब वेलकम टू स्टूडियोज ऑफ रेडियो चिनार नाइनटी पॉइंट फोर एफ एम थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी हेयर सभी देखने वालों को बताना चाहूँगा मुनीर साहब जो है ही इज़ फ्राम अली स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी बाडीपोरा से है और आज हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं यहाँ पर अपनी लाइफ के और अपने प्रोफेशन के एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करने के लिए इनका कंट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स बेटरमेंट ऑफ यूथ मुनीर अगर हम बात करें अली स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी की तो हाउ इट वर्कस हाउ यू सी इट एज यू हैव इन सेंग एंड पीपल हैव इन रिगार्डिंग इट के लोगों के बेनिफिट के लिए काम करता है वट्स वट्स योर परस्पेक्टिव अबाउट बेटरमेंट ऑफ यूथ वैन इट कम्स टू अली स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी तो सर बेसिकली तो अली स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी नाम से पता चलता है कि स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी है मतलब अली स्पोर्ट्स अकेडमी नाम तो सुना ही होगा हाँ इनिशियली <laughs> स्पोर्ट्स पे ही काम करते आ रहे हैं बट ओवर द पास्ट मेनी इयर्स नाउ हमने स्पोर्ट्स तो कोर इसका एरिया है ही बट वी आर नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू डाइवर्स एरियाज वेर यूथ आर इंगेज लाइक एजुकेशन लाइक टूरिज्म entrepreneurship mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. and other things whatever is accompanied mm-hmm. in it we also do awareness programs right drug de addiction mm-hmm. uh, awareness programs rehabilitations good, good. and we are in a continuous tandem with government agencies and mm-hmm. government sector mm-hmm. which are um, providing us with inputs and also mm-hmm. they are giving us infrastructure to deal with these things which mm-hmm. when it comes to youth empowerment when it comes to youth rehabilitation okay agar hum baat kare uh, ali sports academy ki aapka jo profile pad raha tha ya to goda hota hai ya to chatur hota hai hmm. so wahan par do cheeze likhi hai it's manager and superintendent why two designations why why you need two designations how different is there and how differently they work yeah so basically uh, I have been uh, with Lee Sports Academy almost since its inception. Mm-hmm. जब से चल रहा है तो मैं इसके साथ काम कर रहा हूँ right. So पहले तो we were not having any posts as such, mm-hmm. but जब organization बढ़ती गई and we had to put portfolios and all. Mm-hmm. So I used to govern things and check for everything that. was going on in academy from mm-hmm. sports at ground level mm-hmm. from policies from uh, budgets um, audits everything mm-hmm. so i was a kind of a superintendent there so mm-hmm. i had to manage these things and take care of everything okay whether it is going wrong way right way who is doing what mm-hmm. but then i had to go for my studies mm-hmm. i did my masters here in kashmir only and then i went for phd uh, to new delhi mm-hmm. so i had to work remotely okay. so over that when i came back i had to work double shift kind of a thing because those 5 years i had to manage okay you I have to compensate two positions no? yeah now i am claiming two positions okay uh, it's just i am a uh, ground worker of ali sports academy okay. yeah. people know you as a manager or superintendent for ali sports academy if we'll take ali sports academy away for a while for a say mm-hmm. it's not there i would like to ask you पीर ज़्यादा मुनीर कौन है क्या करते हैं कैसे जीते हैं क्या खाते हैं क्या पीते हैं हाउ यू स्पेंड योर पर्सनल टाइम लाइक फ्रॉम योर चाइल्ड हुड टू बींग एन एडल्ट वॉज द स्टोरी इन अक्रक्स वेल इट हैज़ बीन अ मेमोरेबल जर्नी आई वुड से या अप्स एंड डाउन एवरी वेयर एंड एवरीबडी हैज दैम बट या आई हैज बीन आई हैव बीन अ वेरी एजुकेशनली ओरिएंटेड पर्सन मोर ऑफ अ पर्सन Whole, that i can uh, yeah. wager from the look like <laughs> exactly so i did my initial schooling in bandipur only mm-hmm. then for 11th and 12th i went to navodaya vidyalaya baramulla okay so after that graduation again from bandipura wow. then i shifted to something unconventional mm-hmm. because i was more of interested in philosophy literature psychology religion wow. so and i found a subject that was newly introduced here in Kashmir in Central University of Kashmir it was comparative religions and like everybody there i'm curious to know yeah. what what subject it is so comparative religions is basically it was the f- uh, it was in 2015 when it was introduced here in Kashmir and mm-hmm. ours was the first batch of it wow yeah so i had 
a brief uh, knowledge and things about it so i was very curious and i went straight away for it mm -hmm. without thinking it's about comparative religion comparative religion comparative religions. yes comparative so religions. tell me munir about it how it works what it is actually because i know bahut sare log hai jinhe nahi pata hoga who will who won't be or may not be mm -hmm. aware of this subject particularly when it comes to phd because i have seen people performing on going for phd but there are different subjects or yes. streams mostly like everybody in kashmir wants to be a doctor I so uh, it goes with the phd yeah. as well but thing is how you are subject to this way you have chosen it and why you have chosen it and why you think it's different from other subjects other phd holders or other people who have that mindset for particular subjects when it comes to phd yeah uh, particularly here in kashmir and in uh, south asia i would say yeah. people are oriented uh, i won't say generalizing not generalizing it is they are oriented towards jobs mm -hmm. better careers in education right. so they choose those fields which give them something back eventually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of uh, recognition in terms of money and all mm -hmm. so the conventional subjects which are here whether it be science stream medicine or prominently english literature right because these are the subjects which are known to everybody right. and everybody opts for them so that it gives them something back it's yeah. a more of a, a yeah, business like enterprise give and take. yes but uh, when i was in graduation i had a totally different stream i i think i was the only person in whole of kashmir having that stream mm -hmm. uh, it was math mathematics it was computer science mm -hmm. english and urdu mm -hmm. so i was having all subjects uh, of uh, medical non medical right but for my benefit for my sake i chose urdu Ah, okay. not only to have a taste of urdu literature poetry but to know more about urdu language mm -hmm. which aligns with our kashmiri persian and arabic language also of course so there has been this inclination right. when i went for compare to religions mm -hmm. it's all about major studying major religions mm -hmm. but not studying them from the perspective of a particular believer yeah i won't study it's, it's a vast uh, to get something of everything like to Absolutely. read about everything yes in a perfect way so that you can understand everything yes you can understand because you see in our world we have been having religious turmoil yeah. which was religion was not meant for it yes. but here it is yes whosoever went wrong wherever it went wrong turmoil is there conflict is there yes, everywhere right. people are using it as per their benefits Absolutely. support and convenience yes uh, it varies from even at your uh, household mm -hmm. there is conflict between son and father yes. because they held different ideologies different conflict ideas. is dissent is okay mm -hmm. conflict is not yes you can dif differ from uh, differ uh, from opinions, other perspectives you can engage in a dialogue yes and to better yourself to correct yourself yes. but when it turns to conflict mm -hmm. when you separate your uh, sacred spaces mm -hmm. when you when you take your rites and rituals separate from others and mm -hmm. you claim to be more of a good uh, on a good way mm -hmm. and others are just heretics or blasphemers yeah, that's, that, that's great but as in phd or person who's pursuing phd have you ever thought of this thing that if i succeeded ever i'll be trying to create more peace among the different religions or the different castes or things i'll try to settle down which have been there for a long time when it comes to religions have have it ever crossed your skull yeah i think that was the primary impulse behind choosing phd in this subject okay and my thesis is based on this conflict thing mm -hmm. the religious conflict it's based on religious other mm -hmm. how we know who is the religious other mm -hmm. how we treat with them mm -hmm. do we consider them part of ourselves yes. do we consider them totally separate heretics mm -hmm. worthy of hell right so it has been on this and while engaging with these things i try and as many many scholars and thinkers have mm -hmm. tried very hard to see the gaps lacunas where we have been lacking things mm -hmm. where we are creating where a problem where it has been missing mm -hmm. the dialogue process mm -hmm. we had missed on that the right. peace building process we, we missed, missed on that. that the coexistence of people coexistence of different faiths mm -hmm. with different entities mm -hmm. we have missed on it so instead of accepting each other mm -hmm. the new trend is that we tolerate each other everybody yeah, like preaches religious tolerance it's not a virtue Tolerance is just okay. You do your thing. I am okay, but I hate you. 
inside uh, like it's 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 a massive but a compact line absolutely, absolutely. that we tolerate each other we tolerate each other that's not a thing we need to accept each other so have you ever yourself uh, witnessed a conflict when it comes to religious ideas have you ever been i'll say uh, not a victim or a survivor of these conflict ideas because you are pursuing phd and not everybody is going to believe or pursue that same kind of ideology so the conflict comes again there yeah. so have you yourself witnessed when you try to convince a person that it is wrong or we should go this way and they have opposed you in a different way you are wrong or munir sahab kya chuk wana you know it happened uh, it has been happening i think not only when i chose this uh, subject right. but when i was inclined towards questioning things okay. and it happened i think from 9th 10th grade onwards and it started from my family Mm -hmm. My parents were the first. Okay, people. who was the first person to you ask question and he opposed it? Oh, my parents, my okay. mother, father, God both of them educated, okay. but uh, not ready to mm -hmm. like questions that they think are against certain particular ideology yeah. or religion. Okay. So, but it took me time to make a thing with them and to make them understand that mm -hmm. questions are welcome, mm -hmm. answers are more welcome. Right. and we need to discuss we need to dialogue and i can say very proudly that now my home my house is more of a harmonious place than it used to be when it comes to religious ideologies and debates and conflicts mm -hmm. so uh, talking about uh, your subject particularly you study about different religions since when you have chosen it how you see what kind of difference or how many students more has involved in it when it comes to this subject as you said it has recently introduced mm -hmm. to the masses or the students out there so how many students you believe are there who are accepting this as a subject or accepting this as a new way or a new ideology hmm. yes uh, when uh, it was introduced here in 2015 mm -hmm. uh, Ours was the first batch, as I said, and there were almost 25 students immediately who enrolled in it. Okay, you were one of them. I was one of them, and right. primarily the injunction was not that they chose compare religion out of will. It was like they had given entrances for other papers, for other subjects. They okay. were not selected. Yeah. Then optionally, you tend to be in a university as a regular student. That is a thing to do. Yeah, like so they enrolled in. Kashmir, it's like yeah. Yes. So out of those, there are few people who excelled in it, who. one one two are also pursuing phd in it right. in uh, central university of kashmir only rest left with the degree yeah less just have the they have the degree and they are in business some um, majority of them are married and are doing other course so that's uh, perfectly fine but when it, when i went to right. uh, new delhi Uh, uh, Jamia Millia Islamia. There is a, a, a center for comparative religions and mm -hmm. civilizations. Mm -hmm. We have many students there who have passed out as PhD holders, mm -hmm. masters, MPhil. Mm -hmm. uh, still, the uh, courses are going on. Mm -hmm. uh, Central University, I think uh, Kashmir in Jammu, we have also introduced it. So, in Central University, first three years, I think it uh, uh, ran very smoothly. Mm -hmm. It was always where twenty plus students enrolled. But over the period of time. without i don't know the exact reasons but yeah. it dwindled the number of students coming decreased terribly mm. and now we have seen that it's almost two three students if any if they enroll okay there is this dearth of students now maybe it's the peer pressure that our society has created yeah absolutely it's a peer pressure and also the thing is that many people still believe that if you study different ideologies and different religions you are doing injustice to your religion and which is not at all justified no as they say you should know something of everything because yeah. that helps you every nit and corner so tell me uh, when it comes to study like what will be your message for the masses for the youth especially who are confused after their matriculations they are confused which subject where to go and mostly their relatives are deciding like bailalun ne kar rahe the mis pas made kar rahe and i have seen him studying mm. and uh, as a student as a person who is pursuing phd Munir I would like to request you or ask you what will be your message as a student from the core of the heart for the people youth out there who are interested to get their PhDs done who are interested or not interested to be doctors so yeah. what will be your message for them the thing is that education is a thing that is a self transformative act yes 
it encourages you to view things mm -hmm. it encourages you to choose decide makes you decisive particularly mm -hmm. if you are not well educated you don't take your decisions somebody else right. takes for you yeah if you think somebody has one more degree than you mm. he or she will take your decisions and be at the kind of authority yeah. authoritarian position it happens in it, kashmir it happens falan in hun nature to absolutely then one emis the pai zit kan karun so they need mother and go for so she gasa continuously she hai car chala now when it comes to because bushus road mein to student se mere chote bhai hai cousin se ali sports academy mein bhi hum bachon ke sath rehte hain first of all we try to see ye bachcha interested kis mein hai right ye aisa nahi hai ki ek bachcha har ek cheez mein sahi hai right he or she will be more inclined towards mathematics mm. perhaps to uska matlab social sciences usually kam hoga right urdu kam hoga linguistic issue hoga right so it is a very uh, important phenomena for teachers to evaluate students right it's not evaluation based on marks no it's Aap evaluation based marks based like on in the yaad. interest in the interest how you see a person engaging with you in a class mm. kis class mein kis topic pe lekar kitna engage ho raha hai right. how much the person is going home and actually researching about that question or asking questions to different people mm. ke sir ne ye bola mujhe galat laga mm. wo hum nahi karte hum na to hamari teachers kar pa rahe na to parents both teachers and parents they think they have the experience and they know what career gives you the best thing yeah like uh, and they forget to know that experience is a thing as oscar wilde says experience is the name we give to our past mistakes yeah like you learn from so them. if you are more experienced you have made mistakes mistakes right. that is not a thing to be a, be proud about yeah, that's like a thing to say very I have learned very humbly that i have learned you take your decisions you and think what's wrong it. and learn right i am at your back i will support you that's the particular thing i wish which our teachers our mentors our brothers elder sisters do yeah. that's the particular thing but when it comes to now career oriented things yes first of all interest and passion is important uh -huh. second thing when you choose what you choose mm. you need to go for the right track yes. right track is not the best academies in institutions who take lakhs of rupees for mm. uh, coaching and all that's not the thing right well government platforms are there yeah and most of our teachers the best qualified teachers are government employees okay. they are not in private sector so right much. government employees are very strictly like, chosen yes the uh, entrance examinations psc upsc yes. whatever so they are they are the people who will guide you yes. because they have been into this yes they have seen ups and downs they have faced interviews they have faced interviews and the people who are interviewing them were top notch yes like it was a cream of the it was a cream so instead of going to just private school where a newly person not experienced not well read is coming and teaching you but you are just going after infrastructure mm -hmm. buses and modules the facilities and all, is the facilities that's important right. but government is working on that yeah like you see model schools now more yes. higher secondaries in institutions in institutions yes. government is providing every facility Absolutely. available keeping it available for the kids and the students yeah. okay uh, let me ask this it's 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 bit uh, spicy now <laughs> because i have seen a video of yours on the internet okay. that has been trending for a while and uh, so much of comments and questions mm -hmm. have been asked uh, how you describe that 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 uh, what you called in video choti amarnath chota amarnath yes yes so please tell me about that what is it what was it and how you see it uh, well this is a uh, ancient uh, cave Yeah. In uh, located in Bandipora okay. in the in a forest which is called Shamthan village mm -hmm. it's above that mm -hmm. it's uh, i think 2 hour trek from main road okay you have to trek for 2 3 hours okay. and then you reach the temple that's basically called Daneshwar temple Daneshwar temple then Daneshwar temple is the original name of it mm -hmm. so why it's called Chhota Amarnath basically we know of Amarnath yatra mm -hmm. which is the pehalgam yes, we know yes, this yes. but that is the main that's called Bada Amarnath mm -hmm. there are three more yatras mm -hmm. that a uh, usually uh, amarnath yatri has to take to mm -hmm. complete the pilgrimage mm -hmm. and these are uh, one in punch right one is in anantnag right. and one is in bandipura okay these are you, three you're saying amarnath. that the third one was where you were yes it, it's in bandipura since i belong to bandipura mm -hmm. i have known people mm -hmm. uh, we have neighbors friends mm -hmm. uh, who are belonging to the pandit community mm -hmm. when interacting with them they have been visiting it from years 
okay because due to conflict and all security reasons they were not allowed to go there mm. that does not mean it was not there okay it has been there it has been there people have been not only them the people who were taking care of it were muslim brothers okay local yeah, people kashmir is full of uh, absolutely hospitality, hospitality respect for others and uh, message for you absolutely so uh, recently we tried to invite our pandit brothers from local communities who are residing in bandipura okay. and who have migrated mm -hmm. we try to convince them to come here mm -hmm. so that we can just revive that culture of hospitality right. Right. and this land belongs to them yes so they came it was a very fortunate thing and yes. i think uh, to almost 200 of people came there wow and with uh, support of district administration police and all mm -hmm. we had to we went there and when we got there we had all the officials there uh, we tried to make because it's a very deep cave you have to crawl uh, almost 128 feet to mm -hmm. go inside the cave wow and it's very sharp edged stones there yes, i have seen that video of you yes. where you describe it and where you say and uh, how you describe that cave i was i was like i have this phobia of getting those getting into those tunnel kind of spaces yeah it's a claustrophobia yeah, yeah. yes so the uh, thing is that I was watching it eagerly and keenly I was looking into it and it was it was lovely to see how beautiful nature, how beautiful gods Absolutely. have made these places. Oh, wow. And uh, the way you have been promoting Kashmir and supporting the youth of Kashmir, yeah. seriously, on behalf of everybody, I should, I feel like I should thank you. Uh, thank you. How you see yourself after 10 years and how you want to see Kashmir after 10 years? Well, uh, Talking individually, yes, it's a thing that I can go to certain countries, earn a lot of money. Okay, for you. Yeah, that's a priority always. But and he will share half. <laughs> yeah, yes. but I don't think I'm going there. Okay. In fact, if I go, that will be for the pursuit of studies only to yes. know more. Yes. But primary injunction that I do because I feel if I am at a better place, my neighbors, my community, my nation has to be at a better place. Mm -hmm. If all are low, if all are poor, suffering, I cannot be enjoying. Yes. That's not a human thing to be. It's one for all. Yeah, it's one for all. So what I yearn for myself, what I desire for myself, better place, better health, better education, it better environment, be cleanliness, everything. I yearn and aspire that for all the community, all the Kashmiris, all the nation of India and all the world. As right. Such. Yeah. Consider me Methan from the DID and Kya Baat, Kya, kya, baat, baat, kya baat. Thank you, sir. With that mindset, yeah. I wish you best of luck. And friends, thank this was all about today. I'm Zeus and we are Team Radio Chinar and we definitely love you all.